Hey, what's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy Homer Ziggy. I'm back here with another video, and today we back again with another nerdcore rap music, aka anime rap, or you can say bas basically nerdcore music. And this one is Squid Game song. Let the games begin with Nerd Out. Ooh, sorry, if you saw me doing that, that was just to fix my lamppost. But either way, we're back, and it's like this. I was wondering for the better this okay first of all this was released three days ago on October 10th basically so it's like this for the better part of three days and such I was wondering before I came to this what the hell this quid games about and such until I realized when I did a little research hold on before I go into this little about it let me see if I'm quoting yeah so basically it's about and it's basically from a Korean Korean show or so on Netflix where it's about many like at least 500 people or so willing to do child games for a 45.6 billion dollar prize or so if I'm correct like nigga and they gotta play some children games but if they if one competitor lose then they're eliminated and when I mean eliminated I'm not talking about get voted out or anything. I'm talking like <laughs> eliminated. That type of eliminated. So I haven't seen the show. But if I do, with the name with and with the way how I've seen like videos and so from it, it can be pretty. I can guarantee I can assume to you that it will be crazy. So if y'all yeah, let me know if y'all ever watch if y'all watched it and such. So, so I might catch some bars, I might not, but we'll see what happens. So either way, we about to check this song out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Let the games begin. This is your shot, do you feel it? Mm. Climbing cloud nine while it's falling down. Yeah, that was the number of players. At least. I was wrong on the count, but basically like that. 456 players, like god damn. Eating your fill from the life you choose. Always gonna come back hungry. Playing for keep with the most to lose. Yeah, basically they like doing some children's game and if if a person gets a like I said if one person lose or probably like multiple persons or so lose then they not only lose the game but loses their life like nigga what kind of last time I check if you lose a game from if when I was a child well technically I am but you know what I mean if when I was younger last time I checked when you get eliminated from a game, you got to go, you got to get out of the game. I don't, and when I mean out, I mean like walk out or something. You don't get off like the hell. Like, look at this. Like, what the hell? Who would want to go to a game where if you get eliminated, you get eliminated? Like, what? No money in the world could make me want to do a game that ends up costing my life. Mm. Moving on fast 
This beat though. Shout out to Nerd Nerd Out, but it's just like this. I'm just like fanis. I'm st hey, I'm don't get it twisted. I am still checking out the music. It's fire, nonetheless. The beat is knocking like a mug. But all I'm saying is, what is still puzzling my mind is that the fact is that over caught it over 500 people and so right would wanna no matter if you're young middle age or old because i saw an old guy in there like with gray hair and such that they are willing to go this type of length to want to win such a prize that not even they might not even win to be honest i get i get it's like a show and all game show or whatever but still nigga be realistic even if you're the last one standing you really think after all what happens out throughout the games and such that they gonna give you the price hell no I feel like there's gonna be a trick but the fact that I hover on 500 players people people and such willing to risk their life over something that they might even not get and if one of them gets caught lacking and such they eliminate it and when we mean and like I've been saying when we mean eliminated we mean eliminated eliminated so we could change. Mm. Like, look at this. That's like the ultimate talk of war right there. Let the games begin. Like, look at this. The ultimate tug of war right here. And I had a feeling it would be from a, like a, like Asia part of a, show cuz let's face it they hey with all due respect to the Asian country out there like China Japan Korea all that with all due respect y'all will turn the most most kindness sweetest games and such or playful games and such into the most deadly ones ever like for goodness sakes there was just tech tug of war right there if one team would have lost the other team is going to fall to their death. What the hell? Last time I checked, if one team, win, one team wins the freaking tug of war, that automatically means that that team is the strongest and all is well and such. Not when one team got pulled up, pulled over the line, they fall to their death. What the hell? Like, look at that. Look at that. Off with the money. I'm recording. Yeah, sure. My man, I'm recording. No, I'm just put on this. You don't want it. Then you have to my friends. Let's go. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's gaming, man. Let me take it out. Let me take it out. You know what? Screw it. Come. Come in here. Come. 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 People, come meet my mom. Come. Come in the mirror. Come in the shot. Come in the shot. My trip over. Step over. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Wait. You're right. <laughs> hi to everybody. Hi. What you want to say to them? 
Go to work, go to work. That way, you. You see, for every time winch, this is why I always gotta look over there, guys, because her behind always interrupts. You have to check up pretty young. You did that, but you are on the top. Stop, stop, stop. I got my candy. Go. <laughs> I got my candy. You got your candy? Yes, so you can give. Okay. Mm-mm. And close the top. <laughs> Now I come back. I go. I said get. I have to at this point. Y'all can't blame me because already know. If you know, you know. So I might as well just embrace it, right? But either way, back to the song. Hey, shout out to Nerd Out Man, cuz nigga, y'all do y'all thing on this, cuz Let's play, and they do, and I wanted to check out one of the other ones that they just released like from a week ago or so, which was Venom vs. Carnage. Y'all gotta let me know if I should do that or not. But hey, with this Squid Game that's been going on, man, TV show, TV show, TV show or not, nigga, the fact that people would want to... That just shows you, and I saw a post where Meek Mill was talking about this, about people would really risk their life for money. Like, nigga, what? Like, like he, com like he literally compared Squid Games to hood poverty. People really want to get attention and such. And want to willing to do anything to reach to the top, the same way how ghetto people are, the same way how hood people would want to find some attack attention and such, and then reach to the top. Like, what the hell? Regardless, y'all gotta let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.